This morning we have a very interesting gardening tip for you. We're talking about worms, but worms that you actually do want in your garden to maintain a happy balance. Of course, I'm talking about the good old earthworm. And this morning, Ben Getz from Urban Harvest is going to show us exactly how to create and manage your very own earthworm farm. Ben, I'm very excited. I've always wanted to learn a bit more about earthworms. So what do we have here in front of me? Well, essentially, this is a homemade earthworm farm using an old bath. It's a lovely method. Uh, it's probably one of the most effective methods. And the earthworm farm, as you've said, is, is really important to have the earthworms in the garden. You get a couple of different benefits from it. The first is the earthworm tea, which is a very effective liquid fertilizer for your garden. And then you also get the earthworm castings, which is a very high quality compost for healthy plants and the last thing an earthworm farm is biologically diverse it's it's full of microorganisms so by incorporating the liquid fertilizer and the compost into your garden you're getting all the microorganisms into the garden and the earthworms which are beneficial predators and great companions in the garden so how do you go about creating your very own earthworm farm at home to eventually get to that earthworm tea for example, if you were using a bath like this, you need to elevate it and then make sure that the drain is covered with a mesh, something to keep it uh, free so that the water can drain freely. Then you would start by layering your shredded newspaper and the food which, uh, which the earthworms are going to be eating. So that would include basic kitchen scraps, fruits, vegetables, coffee grinds and bread and eggshells and tea bags. For example, here we've got some leaves of uh, old cabbage leaves, they're actually kale leaves. You want to break it up relatively nicely uh, just to kind of get it, create a little bit more surface area. There's some things they don't eat, uh, which is, of course, very important to take note of. They're not very fond of citrus. Uh, they're not into garlic or chilies, um, and it's not ideal to give them any milk, meat, or cooked products. So the next thing is shredded newspaper. Um, easy to come by. Throw in the newspaper scraps all on top here. The purpose of the paper is to, once it's wet, it keeps the earthworm farm moist. All right, and I guess all that's left now is to give it a good watering. Absolutely, yeah. Let's grab that. We just give it a bit of a, I want to give the whole earthworm farm a little once over. That's it. Brilliant. How do you maintain it once you've established your, your farm? One of the things to look at is where do you put it. So it needs to be in a shady space. They, they need a, a warm, dark and moist environment. So one of the management things as well is to make sure that you water it every now and again if the system's drying out. So other than that, it's basically as easy as just feeding the earthworm farms. You feed them once a week. So all you need to do is make sure they are fed and they'll be happy worms. Brilliant, Ben, thank you so much. That was useful information. And now you know exactly how to manage your own earthworm farm at home. And before long, you can treat your garden to a cup of earthworm tea. <laughs>